This is the PMR 171 from Goitech, and I think this is the radio I've been looking for. I'll tell you all about it. Stick around. I've been looking for what I call, for me, my ultimate portable radio that I could take out on the beach and have some fun with. What did I want? What were the parameters? I wanted 20 watts. I wanted an internal battery. I wanted uh, an ATU. I wanted analyzation tools, just like the G90, where I could check SWR. I wanted everything in one box. And I think I've got it with this. This is the Goitech PMR171. This has been a, this is an improved version of this. This now has uh, for antenna SO239 instead of BNC. They've done some improvements inside the box. And they've also improved the mic. The mic now, this is what's called a GX16 mic jack. Um, I'll show you the mic. This may look a little familiar to some of you guys. This type of mic and uh, the jack. Uh, instead of uh, the old version, which was kind of like the G90, the uh, kind of the Ethernet uh, uh, cable connector type. I, I don't know the name of it. But um, I've been using this for about a week. The reason I've been using it for it, before I take it out portable is... I made the mistake. I have the little brother to this. I have the Q900. This uses pretty much the same firmware and software as software defined on the inside. I first took this when I got this from Goitech, straight out of the box, straight on the beach and cut it on. Never used it before. Mistake. I, I, I struggled with it. So I kind of learned the ins and out of, uh, of the software itself and, uh, and, and making that thing work. And now I've, 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 I've come to really like this. I've got a couple of uh, videos on this Q900 radio, but it wasn't the radio. I didn't like the sound. I had to use an external my, uh, a speaker when I was out. With the internal battery, I could only get 10 watts out of it. And I'm, I've heard people say, well, you know, Walt, this thing's only 10 watts as well. I beg to differ, and I checked it out, and this is what I got. Okay, I've had some people telling me that this is only a 10-watt radio. And they're wrong. They're incorrect. This is a 20 watt radio. Uh, there's a setting on it. You have to go to menu to setting. You can go from low power or high power. If you can see right there, there's a little red H there. It means I'm on high power. So when you touch PA 20 watts, as you can see here, it says 20 watts, or I can go down, take it down to zero. So back up to 20. Not sure how good this camera is catching that, but at 20 watts PA. All right. In order for me to do the test, easiest way to do it is using my ATU100 tuner instead of the tuner in the radio because this will give me a power out and let me know what's at. I'm on uh, the 20 meter band on sideband. There is uh, really not a lot going on today. It's kind of noisy, but I'll just do a check and we'll, uh, we'll check the power out as I'm doing this. This is Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar checking the, checking the frequency. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar checking the frequency. Uh, as you can see, <laughs> I was peaking up at about 24 watts. So I'm um, definitely a whole lot more there than a 10 watt radio. Once again, this is Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar checking the frequency. Is anyone using the frequency? And as you can see, bouncing around 20, a little over. But uh, that's sideband too. There you go. So there's a 20 meter band on the battery, on the internal battery, or I should say the connected battery, the battery that goes with the radio. Uh, it's definitely a 20 watt radio and uh, it, it will put it out. I have also tried this same thing. I'm showing you the 20 meter band. It's the one I use the most, but I've tried the other bands as well. Pretty similar. I mean, every, every band from, uh, you know, within the HF world, they're all uh, at 20 watts. So definitely a 20 watt radio, no doubt about it. The other thing I really like about this is the, uh, the battery, this is a nice battery that goes with it. This is a five amp hour, 14.2 volt battery. And that's how I'm getting the 20 watts out on it. So all together, it's just a nice man pack style radio. If you want to compare it in size to, uh, here's the G90. This is the Zygu G90. You can see it's a little bigger, just uh, not much, but a little bit bigger. Uh, but it's everything I want all at one. I can carry it. The cool thing about this, for me, I'm just using it for, as you know me, on the beach, sideband portable. And this is the basic version for that. You can also get a GPS module for this. You can get a compass module for this. 
and a DMR module for this. So this thing has a lot of uh, things that can be added on and upgraded to it to make it an even better radio. Well, talking about the software, I um, got in, I've been playing around with it. I've learned the software partly from using the Q900 and, uh, and, and made some adjustments. Got in a QSO with a wonderful ham, N9, uh, NUQ, and he helped me bring this thing together. All right, any other station, any place, anywhere, November 9, November, United, Quebec. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf Oscar. This is the little uh, PMR-171. It's a Chinese radio, Gohoatech radio. Kind of looks like a uh, military man pack type radio. I just got it, and uh, this is... Uh, first couple QSOs with it say how's the audio sounding right just with the stock mic how's the audio sounding you know what it, it's a bit uh how do you call it not real clear is there some adjustment you can make on it or, or what, what can you do with this thing over i can do a lot i think uh on your next go around uh, maybe i'll uh, do the bandwidth or something maybe i'm a little narrow i'm not sure i'll see what we can do yeah try it Let's go ahead and uh, run a bunch of tests there and uh, make some changes and see. Uh, right now, you're, uh, there's, um, how would you say, a little cutting in and out of your audio. It's not clear 100% uh, yet. How's this sounding? Is uh, audio improve any of it? Oh, it did improve a lot. Yeah, will do, will do. Thank you. How's that? I brought the mic gain down. How's that sounding? Um, it's still in there a little bit, but it cleared up uh, not like about 50% of it. But your audio dropped down quite a, quite a bit there. Try something else. Over. Roger, give me a second. All right, let's try that. That's uh, compression. It got off a little bit of a compression. All right, let's try that. How's that sounding? Oh, let me hear you. Uh, give me a count or something. Okay, I'll give you a count there. I give a call sign there. Kilo four, Oscar Golf, Oscar. Yeah, for a little radio there now, now it sounds pretty clear. Not not bad at all. all right. There you go. Got it dialed in, and you got to hear the audio on it. That's one thing I like about it. How good it sounds, and um. And, and getting it all together. And I really like the way, like I said, that I could take the battery off and pop it back on. It's easy. Everything came with it. The battery charger, the mic, uh, a, a thumb drive for doing software upgrades, uh, firmware upgrades. Um, just really cool. Along with uh, some pretty neat things. I've got some, uh, you know, the new, the new uh, uh, manual, which is pretty nice. Um, and then also uh, brochure here. And one cool thing about this thing also, it's not just uh, where it goes beyond the G90 is, it's, it's 160 to 10 meters on HF, also six meters, also two meters, also 70 centimeters. So this may be the radio where I get out and play around and uh, chase some satellites with it. That, I, that's kind of what I like about it. Everything shack in a box. Um, I got this one from GoaTech. I bugged them to death until they sent me one. Um, it's not a very, I, I think right now on their site, it's $5.99. So it's an affordable radio. I like it. I can't wait to get out portable with it, but I wanted to get inside and try it on the inside, you know, just from the home base and kind of get real familiar with it. And as you can see earlier, make the adjustments. So when I get out on the beach, there's no frustration, no aggravation. And um, yeah, yeah. I think you're going to see a whole lot more of this radio on the channel because this is going to be the, uh, the the beach radio for a while, doing everything I want it to do. Now, I know there's another question. Some of you guys, I get this a lot with um, with smaller radios. They want to know this. And here's something cool because I know someone's going to ask me this question. I'm going to put the power down to 12 watts just so I can somewhat say I'm legal. <laughs> Uh, this is the 11 meter band. This is channel 38 lower side band and uh, It's not open right now, but I'm just going to show you that it will uh, it will transmit on the CB 11 meter as well This is 040 salty Walt uh, checking in anyone on the frequency 
and uh, there you go so it operates on the 11 meter band as well I hear it a little bit back there but uh, the band's just not open we're in the middle of summer doldrums so it's definitely not but there you go it will transmit on the 11 meter band now I don't recommend you go out and do that <laughs> but uh, there are some people that may say hey you know, it's an 11 meter radio as well. So it's pretty much with, um, you can go in through uh, through software and do anything you want with it for sure. But uh, I'm real pleased. I've been looking so hard for this type of radio or radio that I'll, I just go out with this piece of coax and an antenna and have some fun with. So you're gonna see a lot more of it. I will put a link below if you really wanna see, I, I haven't even scratched the surface. There's so many, things that this radio does, the specs and everything. I'll put a uh, link below to GoaTech. And uh, and if you're interested in buying it, like I said, I believe it, as I'm filming this, it's about 599 bucks. Um, as you can see so far from what I've seen with it, I think it's uh, I think it's worth it. I really do. And I think it's going to be a radio that I'm going to be using a whole lot here on the channel. A whole lot as we're getting into, uh, here in the Northern Hemisphere, getting back into... Uh, uh, autumn or fall when radio is really going to pick up and be really great as far as me is getting out on the beach and working portable the uh, pmr 171 is going to be the radio for me it may be uh maybe my permanent main main fixture here it, it, right now it's uh it's looking like that it will get out and use it and make sure for you know that uh that it is that radio for sure hey if you like portable ham radio if you like building antennas if you like watching me mess around with uh different uh small portable type ham radio transceivers this is the channel for you please like and subscribe until next time my friends i'm salty walt stay salty